when people show you who they are, oh, believe them. Pisces, and here is part two. This is the extended. So I have kept all of the cards from yesterday. I don't know if it goes this way. And um, we're going to look at it a little more in depth to see what is happening here. Okay, so it's like uh, spirit giving you a boost up, a little extra. Okay, like I know um, when I first started doing readings, a lot of readers did the initial and then you'd have to, you know, click on a link to get the extra. I'm, I'm not doing this. I guess I'm, I'm not as smart as they are. <laughs> but whatever. For now, I'm doing the extras. As long as the videos are performing well on the channel, I keep them. If they're not performing well, well, then we review and redo. Okay, so we are... What came out yesterday was a labyrinth. And we're talking about that this is a journey. There are no wrong turns. There are no dead ends. They're just a journey. And that's important to remember that sometimes we think that when things fail, or at least we perceive them as failing, that it's a dead end. It was for nothing. Oh, why did I do this? Was This was all for nothing. And I, I don't believe in that anymore. Um, the more uncomfortable now I feel certain things are, the more I realize that maybe I'm just not dealing with something or looking at something or doing something, whatever, whatever. Okay? So, yeah. Um, everything happens for a reason, including um, my rabbit, who I have here. I'm just going to take a little drink here, Pisces, because... Hmm. I'm a little dry. All right. So, Labyrinth is about the journey. It's the 15th as well, uh, which is usually the devil card. And I didn't, I came in here so quick, I didn't even put the rings on my finger. So, here we go. <laughs> You're going to do that now, too. Look at that. What is wrong with me, Pisces? Why am I, I'm, I'm all like, you know, unprepared, unprepared. What is this? Like, much better. I had him on this hand. I did one hand, didn't do the other. Ah. You know. Uh, all right. So, eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize is this. This was. This is the general energy for the week. This is what you are looking at, my beautiful Pisces. This is what is coming in. It is absolutely about this. The Seven of Cups and the Six of Swords. It's about finally making a choice and following through with it, okay? So, if you have been at odds or there are things that you've been up in the air about and not dealing with, not looking at, um, whether it is life that's decided, which I don't think so. I think you've actually decided that it's time for you to deal with it. So, justice, right. So, the big thing here is that you want to balance things out, okay? You want to make things feel better. You want the scales to even out. And we were talking about this yesterday. You want the scales to even out. If you're the one, give it, give it, give it, give it, give, give, and there's take, 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 but it's not going both ways, at one point, it's going to feel, you're going to resent it. I don't care who you are. You're going to resent it, okay? Because intelligent, and I'm talking about intelligent people who can spot the difference, who can spot somebody taking, taking all the time, the one who's given all the time, you start feeling like, didn't they realize that I see them taken away from me? When are they going to, when are they going to give back? When are they going to give back? A little bit. And a lot of the times you have people, well, you shouldn't go into things expecting to get something back. But unfortunately, my beautiful Pisces, I've lived long enough to know that some people will definitely take advantage of the situation. And I have learned that those people, I don't want to be around them. Because if they can't see my point of view at all, and it's all about them, yeah, that's not a good, that's not a good thing. I've been in many, and I still get caught up. I still, you know help out other people, and then I'm left standing there like an idiot, or at least that's what it feels like. And I, less happens less often, but still, every once in a while it happens, and I, I get it. You just feel like, okay, 
this is, I can't do this. I stay a lot shorter periods of time now in those types of things. And in relationships that I really do love, if I feel that the balance is starting, I, I tell people, look, um, I adore you, I love you, but it needs to be a give and take or it's not going to work. It's not going to work, okay? Um, now, you must realize that some people are, go through their lives. Like, if you have somebody that you love, and I'm going to say this as an example because, ugh, um, you know, we have to be precise sometimes because if somebody is sick and you are the one giving to them all the time, that is a different circumstance. That is a different situation, okay? People who are sick are, are not really functioning at the levels that they should. They're not a healthy human being. I'm talking about healthy human beings who just take away from you and don't give anything back. There is something to be said about that. There is, you know, when people show you who they are, believe them. Okay, that's my thing. So you are definitely here. It could be in, in career. It could be people. could be relationships. And I've been really focusing on relationships these last couple of months. It's just because that's the way it's been coming in. I feel that there needs to be a cleanup of that kind of energy where you're going, okay, that's enough. I can't do this anymore. I can't. This is not juggleable for me. Um, the thing is, is that I feel with the justice card coming in as in this reading, is it saying something like, um, you're going to try and really swing the pendulum to be equal uh, I just want to let you know that sometimes it's not equal, okay? In some things, with my husband and I, in some things we're equal and some things we're not. In something he does more and some things I do more. So be of that mind. Uh, as I said yesterday, sometimes it's 60-40, either way, you know. But just make sure that the numbers are close to each other and not, you know, 90-10. You know what I mean. You understand, right? So, um, definitely something is changing and you're moving forward. You've made a definite decision and it's to bring back uh, stability. So, at your ground, because I do the ground and the crown and I really like doing that, was the Daughter of Cups. And so let's see what... This is, by the way, the Field Tarot. This is William's deck. I, use, I designate it as William's deck, but um, I'm just using it. <laughs> Yeah, you see the truth of something, and then you have the King of Wands. It's it's this here, again. See, it's like, it's this again. And you know what? It's to bring you back to who you are. You want to be the free spirit, the happy, um, the one who is receiving the inspiration, who's ebbing and flowing, and all of that stuff. And I feel that you're not doing that, or you haven't been doing that, um, because of this weight that's been following you around. But what I'm getting from here is this right here, the Three of Swords. This, the sorrow has opened you up to realize what's going on, and now you're going to take control. You're going to take the lead, and you're going to go, okay, that's enough. That's it. I'm done. Okay? I really feel I'm done. Time to move on. This is the card of moving on. I'm done moving on. I'm done. Moving on. Whatever that is. Now, I am going to put a little disclaimer here. I'm not telling you to end your relationships. That is absolutely not. You are done feeling this feeling. Okay? This has to do with you. You are done being the victim. You are done putting up with stuff. You are now into speaking your mind, into telling it like it is. Okay? What happens with this, Pisces, is that you make a boundary, a line in the sand, and you go, look, it's been going bad, and I'm trying to fix it. Now, I'm going to do what I have to, to feel better, okay? Because it's important that I stay healthy, body, energy, vibration, okay? Now, what you're going to do after is you're going to put that into whatever situation or person and go, now it's up to you to either work with or not. Okay, so it's not a separate, it's not saying this is always, always working with others. Always giving people the option and the open door. You're making a decision for you. Okay, and that's what I want you to do. I want you to pick happiness, empowerment, happiness, empowerment. 
okay? Not telling you to leave people or leave jobs. I'm telling you to pick happiness. Now, that may end up being those things later on. It may be those things today. I don't know. I've done both. I've left people behind. I've left jobs behind. And I tell you the truth, I don't really re regret. Okay, There's no regret because it, it was very miserable to the point of, of feeling like a big fat nothing. And I can't feel that way ever again. So, I'm not saying to you, leave. Because I don't want anybody coming back here and going, well, Jane told me to leave. No, I did not tell you to leave. I told you to feel happy. To start balancing your life back to who you're meant to be. A Pisces with sadness all the time is a very, very sad creature indeed. Okay? It's a very sad creature. We need the beauty, the mysteries, the happiness, the joy. We need to be infused with those things. Uh, or we escape. Yeah. And escape in Pisces has very many different uh, ways of showing up. And some of them are very scary. So we don't want that at all. We don't want that at all. So deal with, my beautiful Pisces, okay? Deal with. All right. So you have the Four of Swords. What is the Four of Swords, Pisces? It's rest. Okay. While you are doing all of this work, while it's getting hard every once in a while, you're going to need to put your feet up. You're going to need to journal. You're going to need to figure out what you've learned, where you go next. You're going to need to close your eyes, take a nice little break, and, and see what else shows up, right? Only then will you get clarity. Clarity right here. Okay. Only then will that start showing up for you. That, that, oh, oh, I get it. Okay. So, absolutely take a lot of time. That's at your crown. That's your, you know, the higher above, the clarity, the things that you want. And I feel very good about this. Remember, when you feel, when you're, you're there and you're going, I'm so bone tired. I'm so tired of thinking about this. Hey, give yourself a break. Time for a break, music break, a walk break, a nature break, a sleep break, whatever that means to you, take a break, okay? Disconnect, disconnect, and come back to it later. It'll probably be a whole lot better for you. So in your past, you had the Ten of Cups, people pleaser, and that's what I, I, sh I felt that came in yesterday. So that's what it felt like, and that's what was coming in. So... Let's see here. I say so, so a lot <laughs> these days. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, instigation. Prince of Wands. Yeah. Something new needs to develop here. Other than trying to make everything better all the time. You need to go out and, and figure out what makes you feel good? The Page of Wands, I feel, is a little bit the, the one who looks in the mirror. Um, when I see him, I think of me when I bought a new sundress, and I kind of just, you know, do the little, you know, gyrating in front of the full-length mirror going, oh, yeah, yep, 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 I am, yeah, I look, yeah. You know, and I'll do that like a good five minutes going, I like the flowers, I like the slit, I love the, I love it all. And then I'll, I'll play with my hair a little bit, maybe put a little makeup, and I go, this, 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 this rocks. This is pouring love and, and into myself, okay? Making myself feel better. And I feel that's what he's doing today. That's what he's telling you to do. Look, um, you have to instigate this in a different direction. Instigation, it's, it's like starting something, okay? You're starting something. <laughs> Instigating is, is putting power into it. You need to shift from the we to the I. And and I know some people are going to say, oh, well, that's awfully, that's awfully, like, egotistical. It's more self-preserved. It, oh. <laughs> it's more self-preservation right here, Pisces. Because as Pisces, sometimes we just want, we pour so much of ourselves, we do become a little martyr. A little, a little we go the other way, right? And then it's not good. You don't want to be that. You, we don't want to be that. 
because I feel it. I and you'll know when you feel it, and I'm telling you why. The reason, you know, you can't you can't bash me for this because I'm a Pisces and I've done it. I've done it. Okay, I've done it. I give all the time. I give all, and I don't get anything back. Why is it always me, me, me giving a boo do do? And like I said yesterday, why? Why are you giving? to people who don't give back. Whose fault is that? Okay? When I started saying that, I had to shut my damn mouth. I had to start thinking of, wait a minute, what happened there? Why why did that happen? Why why do I keep giving to somebody who's not giving back to me? Am I crazy or did I speak to that person? Did I speak to that person the way that person needs to understand? I mean in a final sort of way, you know? going, hey, look, this is, this is getting, this is getting bad. Like, don't fluff it off. This is getting bad. This is like your last warning or whatever, you know, like, I'm not putting up with this. Now I tell you, for certain people, didn't make a difference in the end. For situations, didn't make a difference. I spent 11 years telling people in my job that they weren't treating me correctly. Did it change anything? No, not really. They left me alone mostly because they didn't want to hear me whine. Which was good in one way, but didn't really fix anything. Okay? Be prepared for that. But first and foremost, have you done something about it? Have you spoken? Have you made it clear? Okay? And then you end up doing what you need to do. And basically, Pisces, I think for us, it's slowly disconnected from disconnecting from the situation. And in order to do that is you've got to concentrate on um, taking care of you, okay? Take care of your energy, because this is bringing you down. I feel like it's taking, sucking the energy right out of you. You don't want anything doing that for any amount of time. It's too hard. It's too hard on the system. Okay, so there you go. Instigation, and if I were to say this is pretty, this is, there's a lot of instigative, uh, there, there's some instigating going on in that card. <laughs> All right, yeah, and here we go. You have the Six of sword transition, moving on. Same, same as here. Okay, this is how you move on. This is how you move on right here. That's a double card. Pay attention means pay attention. So what does it mean? You're going to need to make a change. As I said, doesn't have to be the big change. You don't need to blow up the whole house when you need to clean it out. Okay? You just start cleaning the house. Okay? So you're going to have to start taking the steps forward to make the changes. You're going to have to start solving the problems of whatever is there. With me, I tried it for years and years at the job. I stayed too long. 11 years was too long. That shouldn't have taken more than a couple of years. After a couple of years, I should have known, yeah, that's not going to change. And it hasn't. I went to visit people there. It is still the same. It's the same. Okay? And and I feel like there are a lot of people there are stuck like rats in a maze. One day it'll change when enough people have had enough because it takes masses to do make a change. But, you know, just a one-off here and there is not really going to do much. That's okay. I don't need to be part of that system. I don't need to be part of that ever again. That's okay. I can pick and choose wisely going forward. Even if I was to go outside and get another out, outside job, I can pick and choose the things that I want now. And I realize that. I am not stuck. I'm only as stuck as I make my mind stuck. So don't don't get stuck. Don't get stuck in that game of he and she and, and this and that. What are you doing about it? Okay? And then what are you following up with? That's the other part. What are you following up with? Follow up. Don't just say it once. Going, hey, I spoke to you. Or, I, you know, I talked to you about this. This is important to me. Let's talk. Let's do something. Things need to change. I wasn't kidding around. It's not to be ignored. I can't be ignored. That's done. I'm done with it. This is destroying me. Okay? So... Yeah, I know. It's a little harsh here, Pisces, but you know, sometimes. So you have the Shaw of Cups of how other people see you. They see you as calm, actually. They see you as masterful at trying to figure out, yeah, in the time of burden. Okay? And that's exactly this. In the time of burden. You are really 
um, I guess, what do you call that? Uh, you're, you're really, you're really doing it. And that's not the word I want. Give me the word that I want. <laughs> you're knocking it out of the park. There you go. You're knocking it out of the park right now, according to other people. They think, wow, you know, dealing with a lot, he, she, whoever. And uh, look how masterful and calm this is, like sitting on a waterfall. At least to them, that's what it appears like. It looks like. It looks like you're, you're, you're calm under pressure. There's pressure, you're good. Okay? But that's how they perceive you. You, on the other hand are the Queen of Pentacles, which is, I see, grounded, I see resourceful, and that's probably why they're seeing this this king, okay? That's how they're feeling with the king, because they're saying, wow, this person's really, yeah, he's got it together, got it together, doing it, okay? In style. So let me see here. Half of this deck is in reverse. I hate that. I hate that. Okay. So, yeah. The Nine of Cups in reverse is telling me you're in the Ten of Cups. Okay. So, but the Nine of Cups is still there. That is the card that came in. That's the card that came in. So, even if you're not there yet, this is the card of resources. How you're feeling is you're going, okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? Like, not looking like a complete a-hole, but putting my point across, right? And I think that's good. That's good. That's that's what you want to be doing. That's the way you want to be bringing it forward. That's what you want to be doing going forward. Yeah. The fulfillment. You you need... it's. This is the card of fulfillment, but it's right here right now. So, this is what you are looking into. I want to feel fulfilled. I want to feel better about myself. I want to feel better about my life. So that's what you're looking into. All right, so you have the five of coins as your, as your hopes and fears. Another little drink. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh my God, this is so sweet. Not a product plug at all, but this is called like sparkling ice. I think they're supposed to be mixing for like alcoholic booze, but there's zero sugar and they got, but they have sucralose and wow, my God, they, it's sweet. I think it's supposed to be cut with booze, <laughs> but I don't drink right now. It's not that I never did. It's just, it, it doesn't react well to me these days. So I don't do it. I don't do it right now. Okay little pause there Pisces my apologize my apologies to the new people who are impatient um, <laughs> all right so still trying to kind of put these cards okay so they're I think they're mostly up right now it really bothers me I don't mind if they come reverse but I don't like it when half of them are pet peeve pet peeve so, let's see here. Five of Coins, your hopes and fears. That's about feeling left out. That's about being in the cold. That's about, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so there's the Five of Coins to the Four of... <laughs> I feel that this is like the uh, the uh, the emotional roller coaster of you right now. Um, if I do this, it might blow up in my face. I'm going to end up alone, and then I'm going to have anxiety. I'm going to be isolated. I'm going to feel insecure. Blah, 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 blah. And then you get to the other side where you're going, but it could be a great, you know, um, a great accomplishment. Um, um, I could be like, I could get harmony from this, you know, finally feel okay. I could feel like, oh, you know, reflecting great. This is where I am after everything I've done. So I feel there's a, there's an array of emotions coming in with this. Like you're feeling happy one minute and not the next. Like kind of fearful. Which is normal when you're making any kind of changes. I mean, it's it's normal. So, alright, where we have room. The outcome is the Son of Swords. And the Son of Swords is, of course, the the Knight of Swords. Okay, this came out right away. 
and you have the Page of Swords that came out, the Prince of Swords and Determination. Uh, I'm going to use him as this because that's the keyword and I feel they're both together in this, okay? Whatever you're feeling, this is, you feel, the reason I'm doing this reading is because this is something that is part of you right now. You're feeling bound and determined to do this. You really want to do this. You want to move forward. Okay? Even if you're, some of you is going, no, this is, oh, this is uncomfortable. Maybe you should just let it go. And, you know, a lot of you is going, no, this is enough. You need to deal with this. You need to have some movement one way or another. Okay? So I'm going to pull one more from uh, the Sign of the Times. Hmm. Okay, so this is angel numbers. It's number 14, which is balance, okay, for the temperance. And it says, on the bill says, Serendipity Boulevard, the spot. And then it's 12-12 uh, p.m. And then it's 11-11 the total. And it's written, angel numbers confirmation. So let's take a look at what it's... <laughs> I'm thinking it's it's trying to say you are exactly where you're meant to be, which is the labyrinth kind of said the same thing. And it's one number before, right? So it says, repeating numbers are among the most recognizable symbols of the universe that are speaking directly to us. You may have been getting that as well. I see them all the time, so I don't even make a big deal out of it anymore. I mean, even my husband's now going five, 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 and whatever, so... Um, when it's on digital clocks, it's kind of funny. Um, it says, once you start to notice an angel number, it becomes difficult to ignore, whether it be building number 1111 or receipt 333 from the gas station. Each pattern of numbers has its own individual message, but overall, numbers are signs of synchronicity and alignment in your life. They tend to show up as confirmation that you're not imagining the signs you're picking up all around you. This is an indication you're on the right path. There's different instances in which angel numbers can speak to you, including the time on the clock, license plate numbers, phone numbers, and more. Listen to your intuition, as you could be receiving critical guidance about the road ahead. The universe is guiding and supporting you in your journey. And that was the card that came out, right? In your journey. Journey. Okay. So, and the synchronicity synchronicities are a constant reminder. Trust that you're exactly where you need to be. Okay, so, um, I'm trying to see what this one said, but it's, it's kind of the same. Yeah, as pivotal moment in your spiritual journey. So all of this is what it's meant to be. I'm looking at the viewfinder. It's kind of a pretty, it's kind of pretty. Let's just look at that. A mess of cards. Wonderful. But there you go, Pisces. This is your extended. If you needed like a review and a push, a push, push in the right direction, this is your push. Okay. What's the push in case you missed it? The push is, Pisces, be happy. Fix the stuff that has been bothering you, that you are whining about day in, day out this stuff that is no longer acceptable in your life, it's time to speak up. Bring happiness. Wouldn't it be nice to be pleasantly happy about something that happens? Okay? So, you're going to keep getting pushed in that direction. Would you just want to stay miserable for years on end about the same thing, repeating it over and over again, or finally getting some closure and figuring out how to move past this with or without the situation or person you know like you you have to be realistic sometimes hopefully a lot of times people will care enough to want to make the changes right sometimes not then you have decisions to make but they're yours to make and I always say don't choose destruction don't choose obliteration don't choose like endings choose beginnings choose happiness you can see them as a million different things but choose the positive in your life, okay? All right, so I hope this has empowered you a lot.
And uh, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you are a subscriber, I ask you to please watch the videos in their entirety. Okay? Please. Even if you don't like it, I'm getting that people only watch 35 to 40 percent of the video. I need more than that for uh, YouTube to care enough to think my content means something. So please, if you can, and if you speed it up, it does make the video seem shorter. So please, if you can, uh, leave it at normal speed. I know I'm not the fastest talker, but that will help me a lot, especially if you are a subscriber. Hopefully it will counter uh, the people who come in and then leave immediately. I thank you so much in this fast, fast world of let's get it done, and I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Love, light, and blessings. Bye for now.